So let me ask you another question. Florida State with a dominating win over Syracuse. Dominating win the last two weeks, holding the last two opponents to three points. Was this Florida State's best win? Because I think on paper, obviously, the win over LSU, LSU being ranked in the top seven at this point is the biggest win. But that being said, that was a one-point victory held on, and and I I still don't believe we win that game if it goes to overtime because I, I think LSU had all the momentum at that point. Was this Florida State's best win at this point in the season, or would you say there was another win this season? I'd say I'd, I'd still really like what I saw out of that Louisville game. That was a huge – I think that was Mungerville's turning point. Uh, that, that was where we saw not only this staff, but the team really mature, man. I, we, I, I can't wait to talk – you know, I don't want the season to end because this is fun and I could do this for forever. But I'd probably lose my mind. But <laughs> – Going back and watching that Louisville game and then seeing some of these guys that had to step up with how many guys were going down left and right and seeing Tate Rodemaker mature into being a, a guy that could be a backup quarter. He wasn't even a backup quarterback to me in my mind. Uh, to see him mature like that and come in and play and get that road win on, on a team of Louisville that was playing good and still has had a nice season. But on the road like that and prime time, just I, I thought that was a gigantic curve for – this team and I thought that was the biggest win for Florida State this season and you know we, we got close to talking about many others uh, against ranked opponents just weren't there yet but I'd probably go that probably go that Louisville game but there's no going against what Syracuse start off the season with I was just always curious if they were going to be able to keep that up once they played good competition.